rising. Gator crossing in one Cape Coral neighborhood, and this was no small sighting. Folks frantically calling 911 after they spotted an almost 10 foot gator. He was hanging out at the corner of El Dorado Boulevard and Northwest 31st Street in the Cape on a corner where kids wait for their school bus. All new at 10 tonight, I'm giving you an up close look at the big guy as trappers hauled him away and parents breathe a sigh of relief. Tied tight with a rope to a street sign, it's no pooch on the other end. Try a gator. It made its way into this Cape Coral neighborhood and has everyone hanging out on the corner to catch a glimpse and snap some pictures of this nine foot beauty. Oh, God, it's hissing again. <laughs> Kathy Cranford says she was painting a house across from this storm drain when she first saw the gator trying to squeeze into it. So she called 911. I was like, oh, my God, this thing could have just come across the street and walked up on me. I, I was just really shaken by it and by just how close it was to a bus stop where she sees kids sit every day to see that alligator and see where those kids sit versus where that alligator was probably six feet away pretty scary if you ask her let's, let's not touch it <laughs> but mom melissa jufri is taking the visitor in stride it's florida there's gators here it's you know it's part of life down here she has mixed emotions about just how close this gator was to home but looks at this as a lesson for her kids to pay close attention when they're out Outside. They're going to be a little bit more on watch for them. Probably a good idea since trappers say mating season is ramping up and gators could be lurking anywhere. And they're probably around every day. People just don't always see them. Not seeing them is just what Kathy's hoping for. I hope I never see another one unless it's served for dinner. <laughs> And sadly for the gator, that's just what's happening. He's going into this truck and off to the processing plant labeled a nuisance. So it's one last peek over the back of the pickup before it's see you later, alligator. If I never see another one, I'm fine with that. And the trapper tells us the gator will be processed at a farm. His skin, meat, and most everything else will be sold off. They also tell us in the past two days alone, they have gotten several calls to trap nuisance gators here in southwest Florida.